Hello there, so I've just had an energy smart meter fitted and it's already saving me money. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how the smart meter works, talk a little bit about the pros and cons of having one, show you how I am using it to save money and something quite interesting really, how the smart meter showed me that one of my devices is maybe broken, but at the very least incredibly energy inefficient. So let's get on. So I'm with Eon um, Energy Supplier and uh, they came and fitted this beautiful smart meter. Even if you don't actually use it to save money, look how attractive this is. I mean, it's a modern piece of technology. The bloke who fitted this said to me uh, it costs about two pounds a year to have it on so everybody's going to say oh how much electricity does the smart meter use very very little i'll quickly go through some of the features uh, i don't know why i was pressing the screen because the screen itself isn't actually touch screen there are these buttons down the bottom so there's a button that says now if you press that it tells you how many watts of power you are using at this very moment it's costing two pence an hour which is very reasonable. This will actually tell you your expense as well. So, so far today, I've used no gas and it's cost me nothing because I haven't had a bath yet. And in terms of gas and electricity, I've spent 24 pence. Um, and I can actually, I believe, click the back button, see that I said I spent 56 pence yesterday and 66 pence the day before. Uh, I watched television and, you know, used a lot more power basically. But anyway, let's click back to now. 124 watts seems quite high actually incidentally if you're not using led bulbs then you should be this is uh, an ikea lamp and bulb in there um, this is going to go from 125 watts to 132 it's a seven or eight watt bulb if this was an incandescent bulb it would be using at least 40 watts i'll show you in a while um, how you can actually work out what that actually costs because who cares about the watts really it's the cost to you that's important I don't know if you can see on the camera but there's a little green light here uh, that's highlighted this means that the energy consumption is low at the moment if this meter goes up if it goes up above a certain point then an orange light comes on and if it goes very very high then the red light comes on in terms of the other features, there's like a home button, so you can see your usage for the day. As I say, you can go through um, each day. You can also go through uh, by week, month, year, which is pretty good. And there's a load of settings in there as well. You can set budgets and things. I'm not really interested in the budget thing. What I'm more interested in is the fact that you can turn on a device when it says 123, wait a few seconds, and it goes up by seven watts, so we know how much energy this light uses. So just to quickly demonstrate to you the power of LED bulbs, this went up by uh, seven watts. Let's now go into um, my kitchen. Let's turn on this light. These are three halogen spotlights. 207 watts, it's absolutely rocketed up, so obviously I would be a bit stupid and you can see that the cost has already gone up by 1p per hour there which may not seem that much but if you have got incandescent bulbs or halogen bulbs everywhere in your home and you're not using led ones and you're leaving them on all the time these things are going to be costing you tens if not hundreds of pounds per year combined so let's quickly rush back and uh, turn this light off incidentally i've just had these um light switches changed to these sort of brushed metal ones. Do you like them? I wanted the polished ones, but uh, I thought that the fingerprints would show up. Let's try another thing. This is very interesting. Everybody knows that televisions use power even when they're off, and I'm gonna demonstrate that to you. Uh, currently we're at 123 watts. Let's turn the power on. So this is before the televisions even come on. Okay, let's go around and uh, yeah, we've gone up to 174. So all of that stuff is about 50 watts, even when it's off. So I turn that off in the evening. It's quite surprising, isn't it? And half of the reason for this is because this TV is old. They've actually changed uh, kind of power consumption rules now in the European Union at least. 
televisions and things are much more energy efficient. This TV is, I think, nearly 15 years old. New televisions now use about half a watt of power when they're on standby. So it's much less of an issue for brand new appliances. But it's very interesting to know. And um, people are a bit snobby about smart meters. Like, oh, I know how much energy I use. You don't until you get a smart meter. You've got no idea how much uh, power your mobile phone is using when it's charging or your portable Hoover. One of the very interesting things actually is the kettle. Um, maybe this is really obvious, but has it got any water in it? So obviously a kettle has got like an element in it and uh, it heats up the water. And not surprisingly, if you turn the kettle on, there we go, it's going to boil any second. This is a little bit frightening. At the moment it says, oh, it's gone up to 3.13 kilowatts, costing 55 pence an hour. Now, if you've got an immersion heater in your house, it's basically a giant kettle. It's going to be costing you a fortune. Um, so yeah, it's worth bearing in mind that some appliances just use loads and loads of power. And you may not know that until you get a smart meter. There are also smaller devices which are maybe a little bit surprising. So for example, the uh, broadband router and my security camera system here. Okay, I could turn these off when I go out. By turning these off, I can see that they actually only use a watt or two each. So it's not a lot over the course of a year. I might as well just leave them on. People don't like smart meters because they're convinced that a smart meter is going to cost you more money in the long run. Um, I haven't found that yet. To be honest, ask your energy supplier, say, is my smart meter going to cost me money because they're not allowed to lie to you. The only way I've heard that they can cost you money is if you go onto a, an energy tariff that's maybe a smart meter energy tariff where they could end up costing you, charging you more for the evenings and weekends, which is obviously when you're most likely to be at home if you've got a normal uh, day job. So yeah, just be a bit careful of that. I've got a fixed normal, energy tariff that's the same in the morning, the evening and the night. Uh, so by having a smart meter, it just allows me to control or monitor my power consumption and turn off devices accordingly. I've also got a um, time capsule thing down here, or actually it's an airport extreme with a hard drive attached to it. So the time capsule uses, it seems, about six watts. But I decided that I would turn it off when I'm not using it. I only use it to back things up. What's the point in having six watts of power running continuously? Basically, by turning off every device in turn in your home, it allows you to systematically work out the power consumption of each item in your house and allows you to sort of stop and think, do I need this device on all the time? Do I need it on when I'm not here? How much is it going to be costing me? And so the way you work that out, apparently, there's a number of watts. Your energy supplier probably charges you in terms of kilowatt hours, a cost per kilowatt hour. To convert to kilowatt hours, you divide the watts by a thousand. 270 watts is 0.27 kilowatts. And my energy supplier charges me something like 18 and a half pence per kilowatt hour. Okay, so that would be 18 and a half pence times 0 0.27. That is the cost of my usage for one hour. So obviously if I wanted to work out the cost over the course of a year, I need to multiply it by 24 because there are 24 hours in a day. And then I need to multiply it by 365 because there are 365 days in a year. And that tells me the cost at 270 watts for a year's energy. I've saved this till last because it's the most interesting thing, but let's turn everything off that isn't uh, essential. And my smart meter's dropping a bit. We're down to 193 watts. Now, obviously these fluctuate a bit because there are some quite big appliances in my place that are permanently on, namely the fridge and freezer. But these can drop lower, but generally this reads about 125 watts. That is my sort of base level. 
when the fridge and freezer both sort of are, have reached their desired temperature, it can go down to about 35 watts, but it's usually about 125. This is pretty high at the moment, but let me show you something quite interesting. I'm gonna do what I said I shouldn't do and turn off my freezer. Now let's go and have a look. So my freezer is at its minimum about 100 watts of power. 100 watts. 100 divided by 1000 is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 times 24 is, well, I don't know, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> but essentially, I've done the calculation and uh, yeah, it's costing me about 150 pounds, I think over 150 pounds a year for that freezer. Now that freezer, I think, is about 20 years old. It's noisy, I think there are leaks in the seal around the edge. Um, it's before white goods were kind of really made to be more energy efficient. So that freezer is costing me a fortune. I've calculated that that freezer is nearly a thousand kilowatt hours a year. A freezer from a, from a shop at the moment seems to have a kilowatt hour usage of about 180. So that's about five times uh, worse than a new freezer. So what I've done based on this is I've gone out and bought a brand new, more efficient freezer and I'm gonna replace it. And I estimate that in less than two years, I will pay for the new freezer. The new freezer doesn't need defrosting because it's got an auto defrost function. Um, it'll look nicer because it's brand new and shiny. It'll be less noisy. Uh, it'll keep my things frozen. I know that it won't go wrong, uh, but mainly it's going to use much less power and save me money after two years. So this is how, I better turn the freezer back on actually, hadn't I? This is how I used my smart meter to um, save me money. Um, I've become a little bit obsessed with it, to be honest. I've only had it a couple of days, but I'm always checking it to see why it's up. I can go around the house then and turn things off and get it low again. It'll save me money in the long run, I'm certain of it. Now, I think even if you're not particularly technically minded, all you've got to do is try and get that number as low as possible without obviously destroying all the food in your fridge and freezer. Um, so yeah, that's how I use my smart meter from Eon here in the UK. Uh, do let me know down below if you've got a smart meter, whether or not this has made you think twice about it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I shall see you next time for another video.